Hello, welcome back to another Vinyasa Flow. So today we have a 25 minute class all focused on the shoulders. So we're gonna be doing a lot of opening up through the chest and through those shoulders and working towards dancer's pose. So I hope you enjoy this class. If you do, then please share it with anyone who might also enjoy it. And I'm gonna put more details below with our upcoming yoga retreat in November. So if you are interested with that, I've got all the details in the link below. So I hope you enjoy this class and I'll see you back on the mat. So we're gonna to start today's class in a child's pose. You can just bring either the knees together or if you want a little bit of a hip opener, you can take the knees out wide. Just walking those hands out in front. If the forehead's down on the mat, just gently rocking forward so you're feeling that skin just pressing towards your nose, finding that pressure point on your forehead. And just taking a big breath in, a big breath out. And again, inhale. And exhale. In through the nose. And out through the nose. And just feeling the palms flat on the mat. Breathing down into the belly. And exhale. Inhale into the ribs. Feeling them expanding outwards. And exhale. Big breath in, this time up into your shoulders. And exhale. And from here, come up onto your fingertips. So you're tenting up your hands and you're activating your arms so they're lifting off the ground. And then as you inhale, lifting the head, lifting the chest away from the mat. And then exhale, just melt the chest down. So keeping those arms nice and active, feeling that stretch through the front of the shoulders. Inhale again. Exhale, melting the chest. One more time, big breath in. And out. Planting the hands down. From here, sliding all the way through onto your belly. Bringing the knees and legs together. And then you're gonna lift the hands and then lift the chest into your baby cobra. So strengthening that lower back. Inhale. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift the hands, lift the chest. Exhale, back down. One more time, lifting the chest, lift the hands. And then plant the hands down, pressing through the hands to lift the chest even more into your cobra. Roll the shoulders back, big breath in. Exhale, chin back down. Pressing through the hands and the knees, you find your tabletop position. Knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. Moving through your cat cows, scoop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, rounding the back, press through the hands. And again, inhale, scoop the belly down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you lift. Exhale, rounding the back, press through the hands. And again, inhale. And exhale. Finding that flat back. From here, you're gonna extend the right leg out behind and then the opposite arm, so the left arm reaching out. Inhaling here, lengthen. Exhale, round the back and crunch the knee and elbow together. So squeeze the belly button in. And then inhale, extend, lengthen. Exhale, crunching in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunching in. Inhale, you extend. And then you're going to bend the knee and bring that foot in towards the body. And then scooping the belly down, lifting the chest. See if you can lift the hand and foot a little bit higher. And then slowly take that hand all the way behind, reaching behind us. If you can take a hold of the foot, we hold. And then kicking the foot into the hand to open up through the chest, through the shoulder even more. Working with that balance, inhale, hold. 
and slowly release, bring the hand and knee back down. Just wiggle out through the hips. Going through the other side, so extend the left leg out behind, opposite hand, right arm reaches out, inhale. Exhale, round the back as you crunch the knee and elbow in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend, you lengthen. Bring that foot in as you start to lift the chest, lift the hand and foot a little higher. And then slowly take that hand all the way behind, reaching for that foot. If we take a hold, start to kick the foot into the hand to open up through the chest even more. If you focus on something in front of you or something on the ground to help with your balance, inhale, lifting. Exhale, slowly release that hand and knee back down. Wiggle out through the hips, through the shoulders. From here, we keep our hips directly above our knees, start to walk the hands out in front. We come into our puppy dog pose. So stretching out through the chest, through the shoulders, even more melting the chest down. Either the forehead can come down, or if it's there for you, you can bring the chin down, taking the gaze through between the hands, or maybe even sliding forwards a little bit and the chest can come down. Big breath in and out. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly sliding all the way through onto your belly. Once you're there, bring the hands by your ribs. You're gonna press strong through the tops of the feet, strong through those arms. We lift all the way up into our upward facing dog. So the legs are nice and active. They're lifting off the ground, rolling the shoulders back, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the lower belly as you lift it all the way up and back, flipping onto the feet, finding downward facing dog. Walk out through the feet, drawing one heel down at a time. Big breath in and out. We're gonna inhale, come up high onto our toes as we shift all the way forwards through to our high plank. Squeeze the core. Exhale, take it back downward dog, draw the heels down. Inhale, high up onto the toes, shift forward, high plank so the shoulders can pass the wrists. And then take the hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale, coming forwards through, and then lowering all the way down through a chaturanga, we lower halfway. Flip onto the tops of the feet, find upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in here. Exhale, bend the knees nice and deep. Take the gaze forwards for this preparation. And then you can take a big step, walk, or even hop the feet up to the top. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Rolling up to standing, lifting the arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, bring the hands at the chest. From here, we take the hands up over our head. And then take a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and you're gonna pull it up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lean over towards the right. Try not to let your hips fall over towards the left. So we're keeping that nice, even distribution in our feet. So we're just leaning with the upper half of the body. Inhale, come back up. Switching the grip, we pull up towards the sky. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, coming all the way back up. And then take the hands all the way behind you, interlacing behind your backs. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest, inhale. And as you exhale, we take a forward fold, still with those hands interlaced. You can bend nice and deep into the legs and just wiggle those hands away from the body, relaxing the neck. Inhale, you can find a halfway lift still with those hands interlaced. Exhale, fold. Find a little bit more space. And slowly release the hands back down towards the ground. Shake the arms out. Take a hold of opposite elbows and just swinging the arms side to side. Release the neck. Big breath in and out. 
slowly bring the hands back down as you roll all the way back up to standing. Bringing the arms up overhead, inhale. And exhale, hands at the chest, elbows out wide. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot steps to the back of the mat, dropping the back knee down. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. From here, we're gonna cactus the arms out wide. As you do, you're drawing the elbows back and down. So you're feeling like you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. See if you can even take those elbows and those forearms out of your peripheral. So you're really squeezing the shoulder blades. And then inhale, lift the arms back up. And again, exhale, cactus the arms, opening the chest. Inhale, lift back up. And then making sure our back toes are tucked, this time as we draw the elbows down and back, we're going to lift the back knee up. Inhale, lift the arms. And then bring the hands all the way behind us, interlacing behind our backs. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, bend into that front leg a little more. Just rolling the shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, inhale. From here, we're going to start to lean the chest forwards. You may need to hop that back foot in a little bit so you're feeling the weight go into that front leg. And you're gonna step up nice and strong, floating the back leg behind. Focusing on the ground still with those hands interlaced. Flex that floating foot, we hold, inhale. And then slowly just release your hands so they go out wide. Or maybe even reaching them all the way out in front. Palms face one another in your warrior three. Inhale here. Exhale, bend into the standing leg, step the toes back. We're in our high lunge, inhale. Straighten the front leg. Find a nice pyramid pose as you bring the fingertips down. Feeling a nice stretch through that front leg, through the outer hip. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Bending into the front leg, planting the hands as you step back through a vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward dog. Very good. Big breath in. As you exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, walk, or hop the feet up to the top. Inhale, find a flat back, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, rolling up to standing, lift the arms, palms touch. And exhale, bring the hands at the chest. Inhale here, lift the arms up. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. This time stepping the left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Dropping the back knee down, keeping those back toes tucked as you inhale, lift the arms. Low lunge. Cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you draw the elbows back. Lift the chest. Inhale, lift the arms back up. Exhale, drawing them down. Inhale, lifting them up. This time as you draw them down, we slowly lift the back knee up. And then inhale, lift the arms, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands all the way behind, interlacing, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, inhaling. Exhale, bend into that front leg a little bit more, sinking down. Inhale again. And exhale. And then from here, keep the hands as they are, start to lean the chest forwards. You can hop the back foot in a little bit so you feel the weight go into that front foot as we slowly shift forwards to float the back leg behind. Holding here, we want that back leg, that floating foot to be nice and active. Slowly release the hands, they go out wide or even all the way up overhead. Squeezing that core, we hold, inhale. And then slowly step the toes back, high lunge. Straighten the front leg, we come through. Our pyramid pose, fingertips down, inhale. Exhale, fold. Big breath in. And out. Bending into your front leg, plant the hands, we move down. 
through a vinyasa. Inhale, open the chest and exhale. Downward dog, big breath in. Bending the knees to prepare, look forward, step, walk or hop the feet up. Inhale, flat back. Exhaling, fold. Rolling up to standing, lift the arms. Then exhale, hands at the chest. Very good, taking your feet hip distance apart. Working with a little bit of balance, we're gonna move through into our dancer's pose. So focusing on something in front of you, start to take the weight into your right foot, come onto your left toes. You're then gonna bring the left knee into the chest and you can just hug that knee in to start with and find that balance. If you take a little bend into that standing leg, that'll help with stability. And then from here, you're gonna take a hold of the left shin or foot or the ankle as you then draw that left knee down. From here, roll that left shoulder back, reaching the right arm up, and just connect the index finger and the thumb together so you find that connection here. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, we slowly start to lean forwards. And once we're there, we can have a go at kicking that back foot into the hand to open up through the chest, through the shoulder, through the hip, into your dancers. Inhale, we hold. If you fall out, that's okay. Just bring yourself back. Focusing on a spot in front of you. Inhale. And then slowly bring that foot all the way back down. You may just want to roll out that right ankle. Big breath in. And out. Okay, feet back, hip distance apart. As we take the weight onto our left foot, come onto your right toes. Again, find that focus in front. As you then bring the right knee into the chest, we hold. Take a little bend into your standing leg. And then take a hold of that right foot or ankle as you draw the knee down. Once you're there, first roll the right shoulder back. And then lifting the left arm up, connect that index finger and thumb together. Reaching up, inhale. Slowly now we lean forwards and then we can kick that back foot behind us into the hand and that's gonna lift and open that shoulder. Holding, inhale. Exhale to stay. One more breath, inhale. And you lift a little higher and slowly bring that foot all the way back down. And again, rolling out that right ankle. Very good. Feet back to our hip distance. We inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. You're just gonna step the feet back into your high plank. We hold. Exhale to stay. Press strong through those hands. So you're feeling this nice lift in the upper back, squeezing the core, inhale and exhale. Now slowly shift forwards onto the tips of the toes so the shoulders can pass the wrist. We lower down to our chaturanga. We just hold for three, two, one, all the way onto the belly and tuck the toes. Okay, from here, hands come down by our sides and then we can interlace them behind our backs once again. Lifting the chest up, using that lower back, we roll the shoulders back. And then from here, start to activate the legs. We lift the feet, maybe the knees, maybe even the thighs start to lift as well. Inhale, everything is drawing up and back. Big breath in. Big breath out as you release down. Release the hands, bring the right cheek towards the mat and just rock the hips side to side. We'll do one more round, either sticking with what we've just done or we bring the feet up towards the body and see if we can take a hold of the tops of the feet or the, even the ankles with our hands. If we're there, we start to lift the chest, 
if we have a hold of our feet, we kick the feet into the hands to find that lift. So similar to our dancer's pose, you're lifting the feet up and back. Inhale, stay as we exhale. Remember to breathe. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, slowly relax down. This time bring the left cheek towards the mat. Release the feet and just rock the hips side to side. Very good. From here, pressing through the hands and the knees, you take yourself all the way back to your child's pose. Big breath in. And big breath out. From here, coming up into your tabletop position, we're gonna lift the right arm up towards the sky, open the chest. And as you exhale, take that hand and you thread it all the way through and under, bringing the shoulder down towards the ground, let the head rest. So you're gonna feel this nice stretch in that outer shoulder. You can take that left hand and coming onto the fingertips, reaching up towards the top of the mat, rolling that top shoulder back. Either staying here or tucking the left toes as well and lifting the left knee up. Holding. If you want a little bit more of a passive pose, you can keep that knee down. Just finding that stretch through the outer shoulder. Big breath in. And out. Slowly bring that knee back down, bring that left hand back down. As you inhale, come all the way back straight to your tabletop, just wiggle out through the shoulders. Another side, lift the left arm up this time, open the chest. Exhale, take it through, reaching. And bring the shoulder down, head rests. Just twisting through the upper back. We want to make sure that the hips stay directly above our knees. And then we can reach the right hand up onto the fingertips to the top of the mat. You can either stay here or you can tuck the right toes and lifting the right knee. So you're activating that leg, you're kicking the heel behind. Holding here. Breathing. You can even close your eyes. And slowly bring the knee back down, right hand back down as you press back into your tabletop. Just wiggle out through the shoulders, sit the hips back towards the heels into your child's pose. Take a big breath in, you can take the knees out wide as well if you want to. And exhale to stay. And slowly just walk the hands back in and take the legs all the way out in front. I'm going to inhale, lift the arms up overhead and take a nice forward fold, reaching for the feet, just drawing yourself down. Inhale, exhale. And slowly rolling yourself up, finding yourself into your Shavasana. So you can take the feet out into the corners of the mat and then just roll down the spine. Let the hands float down by the sides, palms facing up, eyes close. Take a big breath in and out. Making sure every muscle in the body just relax, letting all of that work we've done, all of that opening through the shoulders we found, just settle in and get the true benefits of the class. So just stay for however long you may want. Namaste. Stay.